안녕하세요. This video is about how to tell the difference between the vowel O and the vowel O. Some people find it very difficult to distinguish these two vowels. In fact, some people told me that they sound exactly the same. In this video, I will do two things. Number one, I will tell why these two vowels, O and O, sound similar to native English speakers. Then, number two, I will give you the pronunciation tips with examples. The reason O and O sounds very similar to English speakers has a lot to do with how alphabet O is pronounced. Let's first hear how English alphabet O is pronounced. O. O. Did you notice any change in the pronunciation? Or was it the same sound from the beginning to the end? Let's hear it at slower speed. Oh. Oh. If I romanize the pronunciation of alphabet O, it begins with O, then it changes to O briefly, then changes to U. Let's hear it one more time at a slower speed. Oh. Oh. Let's compare this to Korean vowels O and O. O. The sound does not change. It starts as O, then it ends as O. It's the same with O. O. The sound does not change. It's the same sound from the beginning to the end. While O and O are two different vowels in Korean, these two vowels are sort of blended in in the pronunciation of English alphabet O. This is why vowel O and vowel O sound very similar to native English speakers. What is the proper pronunciation for the vowel O and the vowel O? Let's refer to this chart. Let's do O first. The tongue stays in the mid-back area of the mouth. You don't have to force it. And this is the important part. You just need to round your lips. As you round your lips, you will feel that your lips are protruding. This is how you say O. Remember, the sound must be remained the same from the beginning to the end. What about O? Everything remains the same except the shape of your lips. Your lips should be unrounded and not really protrude. Just open your mouth and say O. Again, it should be the same sound from the beginning to the end. If you put a finger in front of your lips, your lips should be pressing the finger when you say O, but not when you say O or not as much as O, because your lips are not really protruded. I have some examples. Odi, Omoni, Oje, Oso, Oren. For the vowel O, Ori, 오빠, 오후, 오전 That's it for this lesson. Lesson 어땠어요? How was the lesson? I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching and see you next time.